from standard 11 that is measure of central tendency. The large volume of statistic data can be organized by classification and tabulation. The diagram and graph drawn from the data help in visual interpretation means a comparison of the data which we have learned in our last ch second chapter. Now here for future statistic analysis set of data are used for comparison and for future decision. So here when two or more data are compared one can observe a common pattern that concentrate around a certain central value is called a central tendency also known as measure of average. Thus in this chapter we will learn about the different measure of central tendency like mean of average, combined mean, weighted mean and geometric mean. Even for median and the position measure here we learn median, decile, percentile and more. The list of formula which you can see is given on your page number 113. Mean the types of data means the question how the question is given in your textbook. Draw data or the group data. Group data where the table is drawn that is discrete information or continuous frequency distribution. The first matter over here is the direct matter and the second matter to find out mean is a shortcut matter which will be explained while the solution of exercise 3.1 and you will understand in detail. Second combined mean and weighted mean which we will learn in the exercise 3.2. Next is geometric mean which we will learn in exercise 3.3. The next median and other position average will be learned in exercise 3.4 mode and the empirical formula of mode which we will learn in exercise 3.6. So here we'll learn in detail about the mean. The first which we are going to start that is exercise 3.1 where the first solution will be about the arithmetic mean or mean. Now here the value obtained by taking the sum of all observation of the given data and dividing the result sum is called arithmetic mean or we can say the mean or average and it is denoted as a x bar. Here is the formula and you are going to learn in detail while going in the solution which will be continue with this video. Chapter 3 exercise 3.1 which will be start on page number 78. Before we start the first question first let me introduce about the formula. The first formula in the exercise 3.1 we are going to solve mean where the information will be given in raw data or the group data. Raw data where the value of x only will be given and in that we will find out cx upon n which I will show you in the first question. The second information which is given in the question is the group data which can be a discrete or continuous. Hope you remember the thing which we have already learned in the chapter 2. And even later I will show you which question shows as a discrete information or the continuous information. Now, now let's start with the exercise to 3.1. The first question, the weekly growth in centimeter is sapling grow in a nursery are this are the information. Find the mean growth out of this. Now here you can see the information when is given like this which is known as a raw data. In raw data, they never give you a frequency. It's just an information of x. So first, let's take the question in book. And these are the information are the value of x is given. That is 1 1.0, 3.2, 1.4, 1.9, 2.4, 1.6, 1.4, 2.2, 1.3 and 1.5. These are the information of x. If we need a sigma x, that is the total of all the data, just add them all. you will get 
and another thing you need is n that is add them all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 just get the total not add so here we have sigma x and n and in the question asks the value of mean the formula of mean is x bar sigma x upon n where the value of sigma x just now we found is 17.8 and n is 10 so here we get 1.78 centimeter next question the mean of the mean age of four participate in a relay race was calculated to be a 24 years later it was found that one of the participant age was actually 27 years which was wrongly recorded as 25 years if there is a rule where it is not possible to participate in this race if the man age is more than 25 years can they participate in this race even after the correction of age here i took the question in the book first i just explain that what exactly it means to mean age of four participants in a relay race was calculated to be 24 years so the mean is given 24 years and there are four participants so n will be 4 and mean which is already calculated and it said to be in the question that mean is 24 years next later it was found that one of the participant age was actually 27 and wrongly recorded as 25 i'll show you how the correction will go with this and in the third part in the question they ask the question that if there is a rule there is where it is not possible to participate in the race if the mean age is more than 25 years can they participate in the race even after the correction of age so first of all we'll find out the exact answer the correction of the sigma x and then we'll go further so first in the question mean also given even the n is given so let's keep into the position the mean is 24 sigma x and n we found is 4 so here I'll just take the number at the top 24 into 4 will be the sigma x therefore sigma x here we found is 96 but in this question the question arises that it has been wrongly recorded as 25 but actually it is 27 years so here we need a correction so to make a correction to find out the correct sigma x here we'll take a sigma x the thing what we have found just now minus the wrong number plus correct number hope there is no need to remember this formula it's very simple just understand the portion that here first we take a sigma x minus the wrong number go in the question and find out that which one was wrong actually it was 27 but wrongly recorded as 25 25 and sigma x is 96 plus the correct number is 27 so out of this calculation you will find out the answer is 98 the correct sigma x now again we will find out the mean by putting the correct you can write down something like this correct sigma x upon n the correct which we found just now that is 98 upon n n is 4 and here we get the answer 24.5 the correct mean is 24.5 moving to the next question the following table gives the diameter in millimeter of different screw select from a large consignment find the mean diameter now in this question you can see here is the value of x is given with frequency now such kind of information is known as discrete data so first of all let's take into the book first take all the information in the book 
So first of all, let me show you something about the formula. In the group data where discrete and continuous, here we are going to find out x bar sigma fx upon n. Even there is a shortcut method. That also I will show you later. But first we will go with the direct method which is quite easy. So here the formula of mean is sigma fx upon n. Here the column of diameter of screw is x and the number of screw is frequency. If we get them multiply, we will get the fx. And the total of this column will be our sigma fx. So let's start a multiplication here. 30 into 4, 120. 35 into 10, 350. 40 into 15, 600. 45 into 8, 360. 50 into 5, 250. 55 into 3, that is 165. Here we get the total of this is 1845. And the total number of frequency will are n. So here we need this two information to find out the mean. That is 1845. That is total of sigma fx, uh, fx column is a sigma fx. And total of frequency n is 45. Calculate and you will find the calculation of this. 41 millimeter so that's what the mean we find out in this question number 3 in the same situation I'll show you how the shortcut method goes now here I took the formula of shortcut method in the group data where discrete we are going to solve so this will be the formula for the shortcut method this was the direct method which when we finish now for the shortcut method I just took the value of x and the frequency the same which is given in the question now as you can see in the formula here it is given a plus sigma fd upon n into c that's what the formula has been given in the textbook here first we'll find out d now to find out d you need x minus a x that is this column and a means assume out of this x value given there you have to find out any of the assume, any of the number. Like, yahan se aap koi bhi numbers choose kar sakte ho, aur baad mein x se usko minus karna hai. If I take the number 30, 40, agar mein yahan pe 40 assume karti hu, it might be 30 minus 40, I'll get minus 10. Because 30 value is less compared to 40. So because of minus 10 I will get minus 10. But just to avoid the minus answer here I am going to assume 30. That is x minus 30. So when it would be like 30 minus 30 here I will find out 0. In the same way if I mind pehle x ko rakhna hai matlab 35 ko rakhna hai then minus the assume I did that is 30. So 35 minus 30 now the value of 30 is less than the remaining number. So I assume 30 but it is up to your choice. Any of the number you can choose. It is my way to not to get any minus answer. I select a less number. If you do in this method also you will get the answer. You will get the answer in any of the assume. Yahan se aap kuch bhi select kar sakte ho, any number. But remember the x value should be at the front and minus whatever you have assumed. So yahan pe maine 30 assume kiya, 30 minus 30 it would be 0. 35 minus 30, here I will get the answer 5. 40 minus 30, I will get 10. 45 minus 30, 15. 50 minus 30, 20. And 55 minus 30, 25. The next column is FD. Where I am going to multiply this two column. That is 4 zeros are 0. 10 fives are 50. 15 into 10, 150. 8 into 15, 120. 5 into 20, 100. And 3 into 25, 75. And the total of this column that is sigma FD, here I found 495. Remember only this two column has to be total. 
the frequency total to find out the n and fd total to find out sigma fd as we need in the formula so here first of all a that is the assumed mean which we have assumed out of the x column 30 plus sigma fd that is 495 divide by n that is the total of frequency that is 45 and c is the class length when you will have the continuous frequency there we have a class length here we don't have exactly so here we'll write down only one first of all go with this much calculation after completing this calculation then you have to add with 30 so 30 will remain as it is 495 divide by 45 multiply by 100 you will get 11 the calculation you can do in your calculator so here we get 30 plus 11 41 see any method you can use even the direct method or the shortcut method you will get the correct answer even over here in the assume mean you can assume any number even you can see in the exercise they have um, many time at the max they select the any center number so any minus value they will get and over here the additional value uh, later it found a zero but here i assume as a minimum number minimum values number so i i don't want exactly the minus value so i can go with the smoothly and speedily in the work so this is how you have to go with it's up to your choice which one you want a direct method or the shortcut method so moving to the next question